here we are. <laughs> Spot is right next to a dump. As you can see, I'm next to a dump. Got a present for all of your guys' nicotine addictions. It's gorgeous. This is one of the worst parts about adventuring. People leave their trash and garbage everywhere. It's just sad to see. Starting to gain some elevation, but it's kind of starting to kick my ass a little. Here you go. That's the background. And about 20 minutes in, let's see how it goes. Wow, it's gorgeous. Let's keep pushing forward. Wow. So, a quick little fact is. There is actually an abandoned mine up here. And I've been to that mine a couple times and I actually haven't went inside of it because it's really sketch. But I just thought I'd point it out to you. A lot of people during the gold rush would come up here and mine. And here, here's some uh, examples of that. There was once a mine right here. And you can see we have a little friend right there. But on a serious note, there was once a mine right there and it was super cool. Here's some, uh, here's some more evidence of our miner friends that used to be up here as well as that over there again remnants of a time when mining for gold was a common thing in life it's important to never really lose sight on what truly matters we're only here for a short amount of time so it's important that we achieve our best selves it's important that we see the views that our ancestors would want us to see it's important that we live a life of freedom. It's important that we live a life close to God and close to self-improvement. Now, you're probably wondering why I had to climb up this giant hill in order to tell you these biggest lies of society. And that is, I only wanted people that would be committed to watching that first introduction part of the video that's a little long of me climbing it to actually hear the information because I only want people who are willing to I only want people who are going to stick around on this channel. The next biggest lie we're told growing up through the education system, through all of our life basically, is that happiness is the most important thing. The problem with living like that is happiness is temporary. This is something that people don't tell you in high school, that people don't tell you in elementary school. This is something that you've probably never been told. Tap happiness is temporary. What happens when you run out of happiness you get sad well if you live your life chasing happiness you're never going to be fulfilled because there'll always be a storm coming that's the thing even if your life is perfect right now in five years i guarantee your life or someone you know's life is going to go downhill is going to have some sort of tragedy some sort of accident some sort of problem okay they're going to have some sort of problem it's important to realize that chasing happiness to find fulfillment in your life is the wrong order. What you should do is figure out your mission, your purpose on this planet, and bring the world closer to that. Live your life in alignment to your mission, regardless of your happiness. Now, I know you, you might lose mental health and you might suffer because of this, but in the end, your suffering will be worth it because it's about your mission, not about being happy. Now, it is important to be happy, but realizing that happiness will run out, it goes, it comes, it's in waves, is really important. And realizing that your mission, it, that your purpose, your God-given purpose on this planet is forever and you can't do anything about it. The next biggest lie of society is balance. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about why they need balance in their life. Oh, balance this, balance that. People tell me, dude, you need to stop your running five miles and you're going to go hit the gym and then you're going to go do this. Dude, slow it down. You're going to... You're going to burn out. You're not going to feel it. Even people in my past have told me, dude, you're, you're burnt out. Like, because I'm not working a regular job anymore. They're like, well, you know, it's probably, it's because you worked two jobs in your past and you got super burnt out. And now you don't know what to do with you. It's not that simple. Balance is the enemy. Listen, no one who's great in a great position balanced their life to get there. You see how stupid it is? They went 
all in 100% day in, day out, grinded for it. Michael Jordan would never have been the best basketball player if he didn't, if he balanced. Why? Because the people who win in society are the people that go all in, the people that go all out. Yes, I think it's important to enjoy your life, but no, that comes at the cost of future success. Spending five hours a day watching entertainment YouTube or watching a one hour a day of YouTube for entertainment will come at some sort of an expense at you in the future. Overconsumption is the enemy. Um, I'm just ranting at this point about society nowadays because it's really getting to me, especially since I've been spending more time out in nature. As you can see, I got these beautiful mountains behind me. And as the days grow colder and I spend more time in out in nature, I mean, it's 48 degrees, it's December. There should be snow, but there isn't. But as the days go colder and I'm on this mountain and I spend more time in nature, I realize how much we spend of our life doing nothing and just wasting it on mindless entertainment. I have thousands of hours into video games because I was lost in life because I was doing drugs and wouldn't have and I had bad grades. So my parents wouldn't let me go out, but they let me play video games. So I play video games day in, day out, day in, day out. And I have no life, no friends, nothing. I kind of made you wait to hear what I had to say. It really shows me the type of person you are. And I just thank you for making it to this point. Um, it really does mean a lot to me that you're listening to my words, listening to the biggest lies, and I can have an impact on your on your life and on your family and on you. So thank you. Like I always say, never quit.